my name is Steve welcome back to my shop well, now that I've finished the balancing frame I took and put I had some pieces of Delrin so I made some little feet out of Delrin and I uh, drilled a hole in them and threaded the 1032 set screws into that so it won't mar up the, uh, the bench or if I do it on my surface plate it won't scratch up the surface plate when I uh, do it. So in this video I'm going to balance the wheel. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to uh, level this up. I've got my Starrett precision level and I'm going to adjust it from side to side first. I've already calibrated my level. Maybe I'll do a short video someday on how to calibrate precision level. Okay, that's good side to side. Now in order to go the other direction. I'm laying a couple of uh, precision parallels on there. This is very sensitive. And now I'm going to turn it around and put it on sideways again to see if I changed anything. Very good. That's as close as I'm going to get it. I've mounted the stone on the arb on the uh, hub, and I mounted the hub on the arbor, and the fit on it was good enough that I didn't have to use the uh, the nut to hold it in place. So now, at this point, the heaviest part is right down at the bottom. I'm going to mark the bottom of the hub so I have a reference. And now I'm going to go take some weight off the stone and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm using a carbide tip masonry drill and I'm just drilling a small dimple the diameter of the drill is a half inch drill and I'm just going down the depth of the uh, the taper on it so it'll only be about eighth to a three sixteenths of an inch deep I'm drilling on the heavy side I'm taking it nice and slow Nice and easy. Okay, that's full diameter of the drill now. I'm going to take it back over to the uh, balancer.
I had drilled on each side of it okay it's still a little heavy on the bottom It's not going all the way down, so I'm getting pretty close now. So it's actually starting to move up. So I'm going to uh, drill the next hole to the right of the one that I've got. I'll be back when I'm finished. I ended up drilling four places across on each side. And now it's right where it belongs. I can set it side I can set it over here that's as close as I'm going to get it I'm going to go take and uh, mount it on the grinder all I've got to do now is take and Tap it with a plastic mallet, it's off the arbor, and it's ready to mount on the grinder. Okay, I don't know whether you can see the finish on that or not, but I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I'm zeroing in on the finish that I'm looking for. So uh, got rid of the rest of the rust that was on this piece. There was some rust staining on it, and that's all gone. And the finish looks uh, pretty pretty darn good. After I finished balancing the wheel, I mounted it on the grinder. I took a, a dress on it, I dressed it, and then as you saw in this video clip, I ground reground a planer gauge that I've been working on. I picked that planer gauge up at a flea market and it was a little rusty had a little surface rust on it and so I've been regrinding it and I wasn't happy with the finish so that's really has driven this project I'm very happy with the finish now I think I can improve on it a little bit more but uh, 
I consider this project a success. What I would like to do is put some kind of a finish on it. And I've thought about um, trying my hand at some do-it-yourself anodizing. I'd like to anodize it black. So we'll see if that works out. But that project is going to be down the road a ways. I've got other things that I need to get done before that. So in my next video, I'm going to be turning this piece of 12L14 into a crush dresser for the diamond wheel or my grind, uh, grinder. And once that's finished, then I can start grinding the India stones and making pre precision ground India stones. And I know some of my viewers have been waiting for that project, so I'm getting closer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.